Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing something a little bit more hands-on, a little bit different to usual, but we are going to retrofit a BGE2 Canon battery grip to the R7. So you can have a battery grip on your R7. This is going to be a two-parter. Part one is going to be showing you how to just retrofit this onto here and make it fit. Part two, if I can get it to work, will be making the shutter release on the grip work with the R7 seven so you don't have to put your hand over and you actually have a fully functioning battery grip it will have a cable going from here to the shutter release but i don't care about the cable as long as i can get a shutter release on here it'd be amazing and then the door will be fully functional still so you can put batteries in here for storage or for extra weight if you want to bring the uh um, camera weight up if you've got a long lens and get the balance um, right like that so as I say step one though and part one is going to be showing you what to remove on this grip itself and how to make it fit onto here these grips the BGE2s I picked up for £11 um, it's from like a 40D or 30D or something like that but it's a perfect shape to fit on here and we're going to make sure we can get this on here and show you how to do that now so let's crack on into it now Okay, so the first stage here is this is a Canon BGE2 grip from like 20D. Um, this is what we're going to use as a basis to get the job done. First, we want to be removing all these little screws along here, um, all the way around the side, along here as well, and the one at the back, just to remove this battery compartment part here first. Okay, so once we remove those screws, we can then remove this part out from the uh, grip itself. You'll see there's a little ribbon cable there. If you want to make it a little bit easier, take off the top screws as well and release the ribbon cable from the top up here. This sort of two screws here and remove this logic board there. Once you've got the top bit off, so you've got, you've got this logic board, um, two screws holding it in. So it's worth getting these two screws taken out now. Um, so you use a nice sort of small uh, um, sort of jeweler screwdriver. I've got this, this is a super old one I have, so I used to do a bit of modeling and stuff back in the day. But get these out of the way and remove the logic board is probably the easiest way of getting rid of this. If you, in case you wanted to reuse this grip in the future, so I'm kind of doing it in a way of reusability, um, which in a minute kind of does go out, out of the window a little bit because all the pins do fly out. And once I get this out, you will need to remove this and say the, the connectors behind there. From here, there's a little, two little um, metal strips here which obviously connects to the inside of the 20D um, which you need to kind of maneuver out of the way. I'm a little bit rough handling because I've not done it before. As you can see some of the pins, of all the pins now have fallen out. So if you did want to reuse this again in the future you have to make sure you're ready to capture all these pins that will fly out um, from the top because that logic board is what holds those in. So you can see all those have just come out here. We've got the logic board out, we've got the ribbon cable out and then we're going to pull those off there. If you did want to reuse this, you'd want to um, desolder these two parts here. But for me, I'm not going to reuse them, so I'm just going to pull them off a bit um, aggressively. But uh, while well, I just removed my light there, my light just fell down. Let's put my light back in. But we'll remove these just so I can get the logic board out of the way and I can pull through here. It's a little bit stiffer than I was hoping it would be. But here we go, pop, we're off. Right, then this will allow us to pull this part out the way. And so you just got to move this ribbon cable very neatly through. It will go down there. You just got to be a bit, of, bit fiddly through there. It's actually probably easier to remove these two screws here as well. And you can remove the bottom part of this grip as well out the way. And hope that will just... Uh, remove everything a little bit easier for you there. So let's get this one out of the way too. Yep, we pull that across like that. What I've ended up having to do is, just a very easy for me getting this um, video done, just remove it from the connector point in the bottom of the grip and just pop it over there out of the way. Okay, so now that's out of the way, this is what you're left with. You're left with just a flat piece of um, grip with the 
shutter release cable so you want to tuck that in there if you're not planning to use the shutter button or try and retrofit it all to work just pop that in the in the bottom there out of the way and then you've got a completely flat surface on there now the only thing we've got to worry about is this little pin on the right hand side this is what's going to stop it from actually screwing into the camera you can see there it will be try and drive its way into the r7 but the shaping wise everything is actually not too far off which is good to see so we know we're on the right track this is sort of showing you that it will work we just need to do a bit of um, manipulation as it were to make it work 100 percent cool so we've sanded down that part here i use it a dremel to get that down and then what i've done is just put a piece of um, stick-on rubber to cover up those contact points just to keep them a bit safer and a bit less likely to have stuff going there but this is why i use a dremel with probably the wrong end on it it's just the end that i had lying around and just took out that uh, part there but basically the stick on part here um the reason i put it there is just say to protect everything a little bit stop the cable from flapping about or coming out or then getting trapped um when you're screwing onto the r7 itself and it just makes it a little bit neater there so one more step to go one step here is what i've done is just got some really cheap ebay felt with a stick backing just and cut it to the shape of what the top of the grip is just so there's a little bit of friction that can go on the bottom of the r7 but it won't damage the r7 at the same time and what you can see here is when we actually do the grip up nicely compresses everything is nice and flush now and then we are literally looking at a battery grip on the r7 obviously it's not functional at this stage I will be looking at getting it functional um, but you still have everything on there you've got a working battery compartment here as well you can see i've already routed the cables through there ready for the next part of this which will be getting the shutter button working with the camera itself but overall you can put a bit of weight in there and you can balance out the camera properly so there you are so that's the grip all built up for the r7 as I've sort of said, this is the first kind of step I'm going to try and work with this. I do have inside of the battery component um, holder at the moment, I do have some of the cables already routed in here, ready to run the cables through here and then into the shutter um, cable slot on here. I'm just trying to work out the wiring at the moment and how it's going to work and look. but what i will do most of the time for now while i'm still working out that side is i'll probably put my two spare batteries in here to give it the weight so when i'm using a, my 500 mil or a bigger lens you can get that a little bit better balance at the moment without the grip without that extra weight what you'll find is it's super hard to balance on the gimbal because there's so little weight in the back so that's there also i now have somewhere for my little finger to sit quite neatly and then once i get that shutter button um plugged in I'll have somewhere to shoot as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. If you want to know any more about how to do this, where to find the grips for sale and stuff like that, just drop me a comment down below and I will let you know where to find them and um, have a look, see who's got anything available for you. Um, by all means, check in my description for my social media and please subscribe, comment, like as you always do and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.